Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Arctic, and today we're going to be going through Batania and also getting ourselves an energy condenser from Project E. So, I hope you guys are ready. So today I want to get started with quite a few things. One is Batania, the other one is an energy condenser. And I think once we get the energy condenser, life is going to become a lot easier for us because that is almost the same as an EMC tablet. Um, we can do similar things with it. And I do have my Emerald chickens already set up. I went ahead and did these off camera. I got them all bred up. And then I'm actually using a roost collector so I don't have to have cables hooking to these guys. And I'm just storing Emeralds at this point because this will collect anything that goes into this section and this section. It's pretty good about pulling items in from these roosts. So uh, at the moment, this is what I'm using to pull this in. So let's worry about, as of right now, an energy condenser. That should be a pretty easy block to make. It's just gonna require a dirt chest 9000, which is a hilarious meme, all in one thing. Um, and then a, a crystal chest, which should be really easy to get. And then of course, we need dark matter, and red matter. So four dark matter and we need four red matter. So over here in the craft, I went ahead and made an encoding pattern for uh, dark matter and red matter since we already had uh, the encoding patterns for um, the Eternalist fuel. So we should be able to pretty much make everything we need. So dark matter, we need, what was it? Four of these, four dark matter to make that. Um, and then we're also going to need red matter, which is going to require even more dark matter. Um, and I think we only need, well, we need four of those as well. So red matter. We'll be able to start that craft once this craft is done, which it might already be done. I think it's already done, actually. <laughs> so, um, yeah, red matter. And I think it's probably going to consume the dark matter that we just had. So let's go ahead and make four of those. Hopefully it'll simulate and process. It might take a little bit because it might be a heavy, heavy process. But yes, this should work and it's only using a few bytes. So we should be able to start that process and let her rip. This is some pretty heavy stuff. It's got to actually make quite a bit of this fuel. It's using 4,000 plus almost 5,000 coal to make this process happen. But believe me, it'll all pay off in the end. But while we wait for that, while, while that's doing its thing, we can get into Batania. Now Batania, we're gonna need logs or wood. Um, we can use regular oak wood, we need stone. Might as well grab some of that. We're surrounded by it, so it should be pretty easy. Um, and we're gonna need some seeds, a water source, so a sink. And what else, what else should we need? Um, I think to get started, that's about it. Um, really, we, we need floral fertilizer. That's something we're definitely going to need. So let's actually make some of that. So we'll make some floral fertilizer. Should be pretty easy. We do have a bunch of it. So there's a stack of it. Also, that completes a quest, I do believe. Uh, right here at the beginning. And we get a, a chest for that. What do we get? 64k drives. We really don't even need those. So that was kind of a wasted thing, but we still need these flowers. So let's get these producing. So I did make a little area over here. Also removed my wither uh, processor because I don't I don't need to be killing wither over and over again anymore. It's uh, it's done. It's done doing its thing. We're about to get into the transmutation table, um, and nether stars are not going to be something we have to worry about anymore. All right. So let's gather all of these flowers. We're gonna need every single one of them. Especially the brown flowers. Those are gonna be the ones we definitely need. Also, white ones. Uh, we're gonna need the white ones to get started as well. So let's get, hopefully we get a white one. There's a white one. All right, so we should be, we should have just about every single flower. There's only 16 types. So it should be good. By the way, what I'm using to light this center area up is a piece of painted glowstone right here. Um, I just have it painted with uh, the grass texture. So let's see, is this 16? Uh, if this evens out, I think we're missing one, which is that one right there. That's 16, so we have all the colors. We do, we have everything now. So now I should be able to throw all of these guys in here, one by one. 
and I'll need seeds. All right, so we have all of that ready to go. By the way, the quantum battery is something that people were asking me how am I keeping my, my armor and stuff charged. It's because of this quantum battery. Um, I don't know if many people seen or watched the very beginning of my series, but this was something that I made a long time ago, and it's pretty easy to make. I mean, it, it's super simple, and it holds a billion RF, so... Yeah, if you have some way to charge it, I recommend doing that. Okay, so we've got that done. All right, so we can move on with the Batania, and we can make a Petal... Petal Apothecary, right? So let's go ahead and make a Petal Apothecary. Uh, but first, we're going to need a pedal. And to get that, let's take a flower of any type. I'll save a flower for this. By the way, we could probably convert all of these into their petals. That's probably going to be the best thing to do. Because we're technically going to, we're going to need to automate every single one of these. Or not automate them, but get their, get their uh, petals duplicated which I'll show you how to do here in just a second. It's a pretty simple process. And uh, once you once you do it once, you'll remember it forever. And you'll never have to, uh, you'll never go, how do I do Batania? How do I get all these flowers? Because you can literally just duplicate each and every one of these petals. So we don't ever need this floral, we don't need this floral fertilizer anymore. We can now get bone mill. And we need shears. And that's pretty much all we need. For this. So say we need these white flowers, we can place them all right here. As you can see, they actually kind of shimmer. Let's convert these over. You can see they kind of shimmer. If you bone mill them, they'll turn into two tall plants. And whenever you shear them, you'll actually get that two tall plant. And that two tall plant will allow you to duplicate the amount of petals that you had. So I highly recommend doing this for all the petals that you're going to be using. Really, we don't need very many. I'm going to be uh, getting a little bit of stuff going in here. And then I think we have... We have some blacker lotuses. And I think we have a bunch of bunch of blacker lotuses. So really, we don't need too much to get started. Especially since we're about to have um, the transmutation stuff. But let's take a look. Can Terra still be EMC'd? Yes, it can. So as, well, as long as we can make some Terra still, we'll be good. We need to make, make the runes today. And we should be on our way. Um, once we have a piece of Terra still, we can pretty much get the tablet. Because if you don't know, this is what we're after right now. We're after, we're after the transmutation tablet, and right now we're working on pixie dust. Um, so we're going to need an elven portal to be able to get this, which does require Terra still. So we should be able to get all that done today. But right now, I'm just going to go ahead and get a lot of this stuff duplicated, and then we're going to start making some flowers to generate some mana. First of all, though, let, before I even do this, because... Uh, we do need to get a Petal Apothecary up and running, because I do need to make one thing before I cut and start working on stuff. So, Petal Apothecary. Let's make you. There's a Petal Apothecary. Very simple. Um, we'll place the Petal Apothecary down. Next to it, we'll go a sink. We're going to need a bucket. That's something else we're going to need. And then we're also going to need our seeds. We're going to need to kind of clear our inventory a little bit here. Um, I need to make a few things in the Petal Apothecary. So to get that done, we're going to need all these different kind of dyes here. Or I, I guess the flower petals. Dyes are also another thing that they're called. Um, and we're going to get this done. So I'm going to need also an empty hand. Much like this. And we should be able to do this really fast. And oh, also I need... Mystical, I need a couple of other flowers that I want to make real quick. And I'm just going to drop them in. Four of these flowers. And then a seed will get me a pure daisy. I'm going to put the pure daisy here. Grab a bucket of water. And then I'm going to put another one in there. Drop that in. And we're going to, we're going to do this two more times. Because I want four of these in total. There we go. So we have four pure daisies. That should get us enough for a little while. And uh, these guys are going to go... we got one here, one here, one here, and one here. Awesome. And now is when we can place down our wood. And I just need a few of these going. Doesn't matter what orientation they're in. It really doesn't at all. 
unless you're OCD, then you could make sure it's placed in the correct orientation. <laughs> but it, it, the, the mod itself doesn't really care. So we're going to let those start producing. Those are going to change into some different kind of wood. Um, until then, we need to get ourselves some flowers made. And that's where this brown is going to come in handy. Um, so I'm going to be working on endo flames to start off because we should be able to work with endo flames and uh, they'll probably be our best bet. So let's go ahead and we'll do two brown, a red, and a gray, a seed, and that will get us an endo flame. And we're going to make a bunch of these. So I'm going to be sitting here doing this for quite a while until I run out. And I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so now that we do have some living rock nice and built up, let's go ahead and make ourselves a mana pool. Very quick. Nice. Um, so we'll place this here in the center. I'm just going to place some uh, endo flames down once we actually use some of this living wood uh, to make mana spreaders. Um, I'm just going to use the normal mana spreaders right off the bat. Uh, we should be able to make a few of these. At least four. I don't know if the black, I might actually run out of the black. Well, maybe not. But let's go ahead and do that. There we go. All right, so we have four mana spreaders. Hopefully that's enough for just getting us by here in just a little bit. I am going to place them above the ground. Um, I'm going to place them in the corners. A little bit different than I normally do this. I don't think we're going to need these flowers for a little while, so I'm going to go ahead and break them. These mana spreaders are going to go in the corners. Not there. Corners, there we go. All right, and then we can break this. We can leave them floating. And we're just going to get some uh, some power going to these guys real soon. I almost want to wonder if they can run off the Eternalist fuel. If they can run off that Eternalist fuel, just think how long they could burn. Oh, man, that would be kind of insane to see that. Um, so we also need to make ourselves some of these twigs. We need three twigs. And we need some petals. Let's do, hmm, what color do I want? Well, do one black and one cyan. I think that would look pretty good. And there we go. So we now we have our lovely wand. Let's go ahead and link these to the mana pool. Now they're all centered and should be ready to go. Let's set down our endo flames. I'm going to put a few endo flames her, and hopefully, with them setting like this, all of those should be able to go. I think it can only accept up to six. Now that I look at it, uh, let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's try seven. I'm going to set it up in like this pattern, kind of leaving out the center area. And we'll see how that goes. This little pattern should work for five, six, seven. Yeah. A little bit more compact out of the way. There we go. And hopefully the fuel, the fuel should still reach. If we drop the fuel in the center, we still should get it to work. So uh, let's grab some coal blocks. And we're gonna get the get this party started. It should accept it. You should hear a loud noise very soon. Yep, very loud. It did pull all of that. Let's grab that. Now, we do have some Lotus, so once we let that mana start to build up there, we do have some Lotus here. Uh, there we go. We have some blacker Lotus right here. I think we have a bunch of that, like, all over the place. So there's another 32. Uh, do we have more? Where is it at? I'm not seeing any more in here. Oh, there's actually one right here. As odd as that is. Uh, I'll do a search like this, so maybe I can see it a little bit better. If it is in any of these chests. there. Well, actually, those don't even show up. Even though they were in there. So, that should... This should be actually enough, hopefully, to get us a completely full mana pool. The only thing we need now is a little bit of mana inside this pool. And we should be able to throw these in there. And they should give us some mana, like quite a bit. Look at that. Oh boy. Like we almost have a full mana pool just from the amount of blacker lotuses that we had built up. 
So that's really going to help us out in getting this Terra Steel. All right, so now that we have some mana being produced, let's take a look over here before we start working on anything Mana Steel related. Um, let's take a look at everything we need for Project D. And getting the energy condenser. So dark matter. We need four more. Um, and we should have everything else for that. Hopefully we have enough. Yes, we do have everything for that. So we'll get the four dark matter processing. And that's the last bit we need. Uh, we need a dirt chest. Which should be just dirt with a chest. So there's our dirt chest. And then we also need a crystal chest, which we should be able to go down the ranks on this one. Get our iron chest. Let's see. Crystal chest. We'll go down the ranks. Let's go ahead and get a gold chest. Diamond chest. And last but not least, a crystal chest. So there's the two items we need for that. And that should be about it. Um... Let's take a look and see if this is still how far along this has to go. So it's going to take about a minute or so left in its processing time. It's all give and take. It might take a little bit longer or might take a little bit less time than that. So let's get some iron while we wait. And then we're also going to have to build up a few different things. So let's go ahead and start working on that. Uh, we're going to need a table. Um... There is a table that is a part of this mod that allows us, or not a table, an altar that allows us to craft runes. And that is this table, the runic altar. So we are going to need a either ender pearl or diamond. I'm going to go with a diamond, might as well. Um, we're going to need iron. I'm going to do 32. And I'm going to get a couple of these things going. Also ender pearl. We don't need a, a bunch of this stuff done because I want this to be completely full of mana soon. Um, I'm going to do all 32 of those ingots. Because we'll definitely need those. I'm going to do two ender pearls, two diamonds. And that should be good for right now. Okay. So making the runic altar is pretty simple. Runic altar complete. Just like that. All right, and then we're also going to need everything that this runic altar can make. So all these basic runes. Very simple. We're just going to need these first few runes. Rune of Spring. Uh, I don't think we need Rune of Spring. We need the Rune of Water. Let's actually, let's pull this in. We need the... We need the, the uh, Terra Steel Agglomeration Plate. So we're going to need each one of these runes. So Water, Earth, Mana, Air, and Fire. And they all, they have all their, their own items, so I'm going to go ahead and collect all the items I'm going to need for each one of these runes, and we're going to get those started, because that takes the longest amount of time. So at this point, I have just about all the runes done. I just want to go ahead and show you guys the last rune, just in case there is somebody that uh, has never actually used this before. So I'm going to make the mana rune, and this is going to require uh, four, I think it's, no, it's actually five mana steel and one powder. Um, everything else requires its own specific items, so keep that in mind. Ah, I think this one, yeah, requires four right i think it is mana am i missing i'm missing something ain't i uh for the one mana rune right here oh it's a mana pearl not a i was, I was thinking it's a dust um so yeah it's going to require this with a mana pearl which i do have i remember having this for a reason you place that in there once you get all the items in there it will make a noise and then you can point your mana spreaders to it um either that or you can pull out of your mana pool it doesn't really matter for me it's going to be faster this way um, because these guys are at max capacity. And so you need yourself a piece of living rock. Place it on top. And then whack it with your wand of the forest. And you should be good. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and relink all of these back to the mana pool. So that way we'll have a completely full mana pool. And now we're about to get into something that is my favorite part of this mod. And that is the agglomeration plate. Now we're going to need living rock. And we need a little bit of that. We're also going to need some lapis blocks. Uh, mainly for this. And we're also going to need a few more for the plates. 
And then we should be just about ready to go. So this is going to require three lapis blocks and a block of mana steel. And this is going to get us the terra steel we need. So there's the block of mana steel. And then we have a terra steel agglomeration plate. This thing is wonderful. So let's go ahead and figure out how to use this. Um, now we can place this thing anywhere. I'm going to actually place this down here, I think should work. Like literally right down here should work just fine. And with the terra steel, with the agglomeration plate, we do need living rock placed just like this in this pattern. And then we'll have lapis like this. And then on the middle, we'll go our terra steel plate. And now to get this to work, to be able to power this thing, we're actually going to need a few things. We're going to need these sparks. So some regular sparks are pretty easy to make. We only need two. So I'm going to go ahead and make two sparks. What you want to do is place a spark above your mana pool like that, and then place a spark on top of your agglomeration plate. And if you right click this with your wand, you can see that it's linked. It'll actually shoot a piece of, uh, or shoot particles showing that it's linked. Much like that. If you're not facing anything anyways, if you're not touching these, you should be good. So with these being linked, we should now have a full mana pool, completely full, and uh, we should be able to make ourselves a piece of terra steel. And in order to make a piece of terra steel, well, we're gonna need a few things. Uh, mana steel, that's one. Then we're going to need, let's see, what else? We're going to need a uh, pearl, mana pearl, and a mana diamond. These three items are what we're going to need. And what we can do is actually right click them directly onto the agglomeration plate, like that. And then when we do this one, we should start getting the, uh, the magical process that happens that will produce terra steel. And uh, it's actually a pretty cool process. Um, and it, you should, if you have a full mana pool, you'll definitely have enough. It should use half a mana pool in order to produce this. And uh, once you get that, you should be good to go. So we have all that done. That should be almost finished. You can see the mana being transferred here. It does have a little bit of a distance to travel. If it was a little bit closer, it happened a little bit faster. Um, but this should work. Look at it. Look at it drain that mana pool, though. It's almost done. And there's a piece of terra steel. Just like that. Dancer in the dark is what we got. Now, this piece of terra steel is going to be used very soon to help us produce everything we need for the transmutation table. But as you've seen it before, we were crafting a few things. So red matter is we had four of them we needed, and dark matter, we needed four of those. And that was something we need earlier. And we also need the crystal chest and a dirt chest. And guys, we're fixing to have an energy condenser. Like, for real, about to have an energy condenser. I'm super excited. Um, so, for the energy condenser. Um, I think it is... Energy condenser. We need an alchemical chest. Uh, to get that, we'll need evil infused iron, which we can get from an enchanter. I do want to show us making that real quick. Um, we should be able to get an enchanter made pretty fast. Um, I kind of actually skipped that part. So, Ian, enchanter. Enchanter shouldn't take too much for us to make. Uh, we do need just an um, enchanted book, which we actually have. Let's head down here. And we'll just pull out one of the enchanted books. We'll use that for the recipe. Place the enchanted book up here, and that'll give us an enchanter from Extra Utilities. We are going to need some speed upgrades and a point for power. And we're also going to need... I think it is... I don't think we have any, but we need some of this enchanted magical wood. 
So bookshelves. You should be able to make bookshelves, I think. Let's see, we have all kinds of wood for this. We only need six of these, by the way. Six bookshelves is all we need. Oh, I think I'm missing the missing the oak one. Oak bookshelf. That works too, but honestly, I want to save that. <laughs> there we go. Six of those. Got one too many, and... Gold. Of course, we're almost out of gold. I think we have some gold, though. It's set up here. Pretty sure I have some gold. Yes. Alright, so, in a regular crafting table... I mean, it can be a regular, it doesn't have to be, but I'm just going to use a regular crafting table. I think we have enough levels, <laughs> so let's go ahead and do this. Six of these books. That'll give us the magical wool we need. Those actually require level. We had 60 levels, now we have 39. That's kind of crazy, isn't it? Let's just set it up back here. Enchanter right here. I'm trying to do this about as fast as I can. Give it some power. Also, throw some upgrades in this thing to make it go a little bit faster. We probably actually do max upgrades. Uh, we'll do as many as this thing can hold. So we got that max upgrade in there. So let's go ahead now and get everything we need. So it was extra utilities, right? And we needed that, uh, what was it, evil infused? And the evil infused is iron and a nether star. So that should be pretty easy to get. You've seen iron. And nether stars. And that should go pretty fast. Yeah. That should go pretty fast pumping out that evil infused iron. Alright, so I think that's all we need for this. Um, right? If we take a look at the dark matter and then our, our actual crafts. We can see that to actually get the alchemical chest, that's what we're going to need. So, let's go ahead and make the alchemical chest. I think we have just about everything. Oh, we're needing the empower too. Oh yeah, we need to set that back up. So the empower is going to have to be set back up. We're going to need our um, tables, display stands. A lot, of, a lot of different parts that are going to go into actually producing these, these materials. Um, so, with this done, we need points. I'm um, going to need more than what I currently have. We need two points. I believe. Let that start up. And... There's our two more points. For some reason, those this one won't go into it. It's probably configured or something. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and set this the empower back up. That shouldn't take too long. And we'll do that in here. Uh, we can actually set that right here. Kind of get it out of the way. Display stands need to go two out in each direction. Set this up before. It's pretty simple to do. There we go. And then, of course, we'll get our points hooked up. And those already had power, so let's go ahead and get this one configured. Output. Awesome. All this has power. Now, for each one of these, this is going to require, what, double compressed cobblestone, right? That's fine. Let's do cobblestone. And we'll get enough here. Hopefully nine of these we have. To make ourselves double compressed. What is this going to require for each tier up? Um, okay, we need one of those. And that's also going to require redstone. And then the high is going to require an infused diamond, which I've actually... We need that, don't we? Oh boy. Right, we're missing glass out of all things. And we have all kinds of glass. Does it have to specifically be... It does. Okay. 
So let's take our sand and we'll just make some glass, I guess, because we have everything else. But we don't have that. So I'm going to go ahead and get all these things made and uh, I'll be back. So we're pretty close to having everything we need. So that gives us 40 of those. We need a base ingot with more redstone. This is going to give us our next tier. And it doesn't really have like the beams of light that you would normally see, which is kind of weird. Um, but that's fine. This should also... Oh, break that. Break that. We need an empty hand. There we go. That's 40 of that. And then we have our infused diamond. And this is going to need coal. Just a couple pieces of coal. And that should get the last bit of covalent dust that we need. And I really want this energy condenser. That's why I'm really pushing for it. Because um, we pretty much have everything else. Right? Pretty much have everything we need. That's not hard. Uh, diamond chest is definitely not hard. Uh, if we don't have enough iron anyways. Let's see. We totally have iron. So let's go ahead and make that. Iron chest, then to gold chest, then to diamond chest, then to alchemical chest, and guys, oh boy, are we about to do this. Let's put the alchemical chest, well, wait, we'll do that last. Let's take these, and we'll separate these all in their own little thing, and this is going to get really fun really quick. All right, these need to be situated to where they only go one at a time. There's that, and then the dark matter. Oh boy. And this is where we actually needed 10 of these. And then we place the alchemical chest, and we start. Oh boy. It is going to happen. We are fixing to have ourselves a energy condenser. Oh, it's going to be so nice to have this energy, energy condenser, which pretty much will allow us to duplicate any EMCable item which will kind of fast track us, hopefully, to getting the tablet very, very soon. We are very close, very close. We can probably make that faster. There it goes. And now we have an energy condenser. Oh, this is so nice, so nice. Is there not quests for the energy condenser? There are. Oh, nice, there's all these quests. I didn't see them pop up. Okay, so we do have a couple of chests to open as well. Invar hammer. A diamond furnace. That's nice to finally get. A silk touch chance pendant. Or s Use this pendant to retrieve chance cubes. Oh, nice. Um, and then also, last but not least, we got some stone and some wood. Very, very nice. Alright, so we can we can throw all this stuff back in here. We now have this energy condenser to work with. And this thing is kind of cool. Kind of cool. Um, so basically, if we want red matter, if we want some red matter or anything like that, well, technically we need to make some. So dark, I want to make one, one dark matter at least. Well, technically let's get some terra steel. That's actually what we have. I do have that one piece of terra steel. And I wanna I wanna make more terror steel, right? So we can open up the energy condenser, place the item we want to duplicate in there, grab some emeralds, throw that in there, and look how much terror steel we can make in a short period of time. That's a stack of terror steel, guys. We want iron. Are we we low on iron? Well, let's solve that. Let's take a piece of iron. We can throw that in there. No problem. Let's, uh, look at that. It's already got all that EMC stored in there. Let's stop that. Throw a piece of iron in there. It's going to use up the rest of the EMC value that was stored up in there, which is probably a bunch. And there we go. Now we have iron. I mean, that was just three stacks of emeralds. We have several stacks, 8,000 emeralds stored in here already, just in a short period of time. So yeah, I think we're, I think we're about set at this point. Uh, the energy condenser really opens this whole pack and almost makes it makes it creative mode, which uh, I was ready to get done. But we do need to get an EMC table, and that's where I actually want to go ahead and get rid of this and this 
And we're going to do this today. We've got to get this done. I want to get it done like as soon as possible. So, Batania, let's get, um, let's see, actually, let's, let's do Batania in here. I need two of these. Two mana pools. And we're going to also need, if I scroll on over, well, I guess maybe I'm overlooking them. Mana pylons. So we are going to need a couple of mana diamonds. Which is fine. Those are even EMC-able. <laughs> which is crazy. Um, anything that uses mana, that should be also fine. Alright, so technically we shouldn't... I think we need four of these for the pylons. Because we're going to be working on this. Okay, maybe not. It just requires these singular, singular ones. All right, so we should have everything needed to make these. There's the two of those, and we need a Terra Steel chopped down. And there is that gone. And one more. There's our two Natura Pylons. So let's go ahead and place those here. So let's place two mana pools, one here and one here. I'm going to place these on top, right? Just like that. I'm going to go ahead and link. Uh, if I have my wand in here, where did my, there it is. It's on my inventory. I'm going to go ahead and link these pools. I think those will work. Might have to crisscross them. Like that to get these to work. Coal. Throw down some coal, get some power going to this, all these guys. Get a little bit of mana in there, just enough to get it started. And while that's working, we need a piece of glimmering living wood. I think two or three of those. If I remember correctly, we're also going to need living wood itself. And then we're also going to need the actual Elven Gateway Core. So, that should be everything we need. I'm going to put the Elven Gateway Core right here. Then we're going to have regular wood. Regular. It's going to continue all the way around. We're going to get these on the corners. Glimmering. Up one more. Technically up one more from that. just to get this placed. Another one on top of there. And another glimmering. And that should be our entire Elven Gateway ready to go. Uh, let's see how much mana we have. Not enough, I don't think, to open this, but we can try. Yes, there's not enough mana to actually open it yet. So we do need to let it kind of simmer there with a little bit more mana. Unfortunately, uh, what we can do though is get a mana tablet that we should be able to easily make. Grab one Ender Pearl, toss that bad boy in. That'll give us a mana tablet. We can go ahead and actually toss that mana tablet in here and make sure this is sparing to tablet, and that should start filling our tablet up. Kind of weird when items actually drop to the ground like that. Uh, but we should start seeing the, the mana leaving the pool. Hopefully. Yeah. Little by little, it's leaving the pool. But it is definitely leaving. We can grab this, and we can actually throw this inside one of these. Hopefully I can get it in there. That will hopefully share. Now, let's try and open the portal. Huh, I almost wonder if I need to move these over one. Almost bet I need to. Maybe they're just too close. Just maybe. Just maybe they're a little bit too close. But man, we are so close. We are so close to actually getting this, this thing started. 
All right, that's enough for me. I'm gonna just waste the mana that we just built up. That's fine. And we should have another. Where are our other mana? What? There it is. So that sh this should work. All right, we have everything ready to go. I should have built this right. I'm pretty sure that's right. Let's take that. There we go. We've got some weird lighting things going on. Okay. And grab some more mana. I th we we're very close. We're very close to having this this ready to go. Man, am I am I ready to get this? Throw that in there. And can we get this thing open? Oh, something's something's not right. Something is not right. Let's open our Perlexica Batania just to make sure that I did set this up right. Um, so we need to go in. Maybe actually the main section. It's probably next one. Mana, mana manipulation. Not generating flora. Ender artifacts, not under that. Alfine portal? Portal the Alfine. Did I build it wrong? No, I didn't build it wrong. It's built correct. I mean, technically we don't need these corner pieces. I don't know if that affects it any. <laughs> it might. Now that I look at it, it might actually affect it. Figured maybe because we didn't have enough mana. Yeah, something's... Something's not right. Maybe it's just because we don't have enough mana. These are Natura Pylons. They have max power. We're going to get this going. We've got to get this open. <laughs> the last thing we have left to do. Oh, am I draining? It's too sparing. That was draining out of that for one thing. That's, of course, not helpful. It's getting up there. Aha! We just didn't have enough mana. That's pretty much all it was. Okay, so with those running there, let's go ahead and make sure to get this back going again. All we need now is, is Ender Pearls. And we should be good. Um, I'm going to take one of those because I think these have an EMC value. Yes, they do. <laughs> oh, man. And guys, we are about to get some pixie dust. All right, so I'm gonna take some of this iron though. And we're gonna swap this out with some pixie dust. Look how fast this is. Like if you wanna just duplicate items, that's how fast you can actually do it. And guys, we have basically done the entire Batania start. You throw those in, you get yourself some pixie dust, just like that. And guys, we finished what we needed to achieve in today's episode. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, you guys know what to do. Don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already, and also give this video a thumbs up, guys. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome, and as always, thanks for watching.